Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be having a look at the Hanskit USB soldering iron. So not much to look at on the box there other than the picture and the contents right there. So let's open it up and check it out for ourselves. All right, get rid of the box there. We'll start with the manual here. Nice colored manual. Actually easy to read. Basically showing you how to power it up there. Everything you need to know is right here, guys. Looks like it has replaceable uh, soldering tip. I like that. It does have uh, some specs here. We're also putting this all on the screen for you guys to see. So we've got voltage range is 5 watts, power 8 watts, temperature range 330 degrees Celsius to 450 Celsius. It does have an auto sleep after 10 minutes and it cools down 30 seconds. It looks like it's hot enough to melt the solder in 15 seconds. And other than that, guys, not much more to look at. What I do like about this one, and actually we're seeing on the back side, it does have adjustable temperature. So you got three temperature settings here. You got your green setting, which is 330 to 350. You also have your blue setting, which is 370 to 400. And you've got your red setting there, your high setting, which is 430 to 450. I like that, that it's got adjustable temperature. I do use another USB soldering iron. I had this one on the channel a couple years ago. Works great, use it often but uh, it doesn't have that adjustable temperature. So I like that, that's a def definite positive. So let's look what we got here. We got a little soldering stand that just came apart, a little sponge with it. Let's see if we can get it out. It's in there tight, packaged well. Okay, so there's our little stand there, guys. Let me just pop it back together quickly. Not a big deal, there we go. With the sponge there, very cool. We've also got our power cable, so USB on the one side, micro USB on the other side that'll plug into the soldering iron. Here's our tip right here. So soldering iron tip. This one came with a fine tip and you can see these are able to be replaced. Actually it looks like uh, very similar looking to the vape soldering iron right here that I uh, reviewed not long ago, same looking tips. Very similar looking. I bet you actually those will probably be a direct fit. So I've already got some spares. That's nice. And we've got the hand skit USB soldering iron right there. So I do have to say everything oh, and a little bit of solder in there if we can get that out. Everything is packaged tightly in here. A little bit of solder. But uh, yeah, it definitely uh, makes it to where it's going safely. So there it is. Not too big. Decent size. We can screw in the tip right there. There we go, and you can see the micro USB in input right there that we'll be plugging this cord in, and we'll be good to try it out. So what's nice about these guys is you can use these at the bench. You can just plug it into any USB outlet you have, something like that, wall adapter, or if you need to take it on the road with you, you can use some kind of uh, you know power brick like this. So I've got the power brick out right now. And I'm going to just plug it into there and we'll run it off the power brick. So this would be a good uh, little soldering iron potentially to take out with you if you're out, uh, you know, with the drones and stuff. And you may need a little, uh, may need a little minor repair while you're out there. This might be one that uh, would be useful for you. So let's plug it in. Nice long cable. Flexible. Very nice. That's got to be about four feet long. All right, plug this into the back side here. So I think all we do is just hold it. There we go. So you can see the green light right there. You just hold it to fire it up. You just press the button. It'll change it to the medium heat, which is the blue LED. And then red. And you can see it's already smoking there, guys. It's already hot. What was that? 10 seconds? So I'm going to put it back down to low. Leave it on the stand there for a sec. I guarantee you it's already hot enough to melt the solder that came with it. Let's check it out. You can see this, yep. No problem there. So, we're not gonna spend too much time with this one, guys. I have a couple, I've got one little uh, drone here that we can use for a demonstration, and then I've got a final connection on some uh, 
LEDs that I'm installing into an RC truck. We'll look at that and then we'll wrap this one up. So let's pull in the drone. Let's just get this other stuff out of the way here. We'll pull in the drone. And all I'm gonna do is we're just gonna, just gonna desolder a wire here and solder it back on. So see if I can get it close enough here. And we're on low and you can see right away, that's hot enough to uh, melt that solder on the drone. Yeah, that's pretty good guys. Now, let me just get it back on there. There we go. Not bad. That was really light gauge wire, right? Really uh, not a heavy duty repair at all, precision repair, but uh, that's kind of all these are really good for. You're not going to be soldering battery connectors onto any, uh, any Dean's connectors or anything like that. Maybe JST connectors. They're light enough gauge wire, but uh, small repairs on drones like this or, you know, precision electronics definitely uh, would work. The thing we can do here, guys, is, and this is why I decided to pull out the hand skit uh, USB soldering iron here, was just to uh, test it out here. I figured, you know what, I've got the final connection to make on this LED kit that I'm installing in this truck. And figure, you know what, we'll try out this little USB soldering iron for it. This is the kind of stuff that it's, uh, it's going to be great for, is just precision stuff you know not heavy duty light gauge wire so let me get a little of the solder that came with it and done that's pretty cool that worked out well All right, guys. Well, it worked out great for that connection. Happy about that. Let me just uh, let me see what I can pull out of the out of the connector box or something here quickly and see if we can get something a little heavier duty. Here we go. And I don't expect this to work, but uh, all right. So a little heavier duty or wire there. What is it? 18 gauge. No, this is 16 gauge, 16 gauge wire. We got it soldered onto a, onto a Dean's connector. Now I'm not expecting this to be able to transfer enough heat to desolder this, but we'll see. It's getting hot. You can hear it sizzling there, guys. Try again. Yeah, it's it, it's working, but that's going to take way too long to transfer the heat into that. So I can feel it's getting hot. Not really worth it. All right, guys, we're going to wrap this one up now with the Handskit USB soldering iron. I think you get the idea of what the capabilities are of this one. There's really no need to test it further. Precision repairs, LED lights, it's perfect. Anything a little bit more heavy duty, such as this, it's going to take too long to transfer heat not really useful for that now like I mentioned I did I did let's say use this one quite often not a more this is going to retirement definitely a step up with the hand skit one adjustable temperature replaceable tip I like that so we're gonna leave it at that guys you like this video make sure you have a big thumbs up you want to grab one of these for yourself check out the link down below in the description these are dirt cheap new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out and remember don't be a stranger we'll see you on the next one see ya